Hi everyone, welcome to The Word at One for Wednesday, May 5th. So we're talking this week about how scripture addresses the worship of false gods. Um, prohibiting the worship of false gods, so the little g versus the big G, the true God, in the Ten Commandments. And then also how Daniel's friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, refused to bow down to the false gods that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And they were thrown into a fiery furnace, but then God saves them. And this is an opportunity to give a testimony to the true God. So we see this a lot in scripture where God shows his power. And then the testimony of who he is just spreads everywhere because of God showing his power. Well, also God often calls leadership in scripture to clear out the worship of false gods. So he did this with Moses. Um, with the golden calf. He's done this um, when Israel came into the promised land with the judges. And then also when there are kings and queens during the time of Israel's history, each king and each queen is called to kind of renew and restart again and to clear out any idol worship that has taken place. And some of the kings and queens were really good at it and basically cleared out a lot of it, but then kind of left a few things. Others actually got involved actively in idol worship. But this story that stands out in scripture is the story of King Josiah. And King Josiah doesn't just go halfway or three quarters of the way. He clears out every single, every single piece of idol worship and then reestablishes um, the law, the reading of the law, reestablishes the Passover, you know, this really significant feast of remembering God setting his people free from slavery. And so King Josiah is a just tremendous example of being called by God to just clear out, clean out, to be called as a leader, to lead the people in the true worship of God. So this is Second Chronicles chapter 34, verse 1 to 2. Josiah was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 31 years. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and walked in the ways of his father David, not turning aside to the right or to the left. And that is something that I would pray for all of us, that that would be what is said about us, is that we follow the Lord, we don't turn to the right or to the left, and we stay on the path that he has given us. We don't get distracted by either the things of this world or the little G's of this world that want to take us away from the truth of the gospel and the truth of who Jesus is, that want to you know, bring difficulty to ministries and to churches and to our world, that we don't turn aside to the right or to the left, we don't get distracted. We just stay focused on who God is and clear anything out that gets in the way between us and him. So we can all be and pray to be like the Josiahs of this world. So see you all tomorrow.